hello friends welcome to this video and in this video we are going to make a multi-layer perceptron in tensor flow <coughs> first of all if you haven't subscribed to my channel till now then please subscribe it now by hitting that red i red uh, subscribe button and please also hit that bell icon to get the latest videos now what is tensor flow tensor flow is an open source software library by google for numerical computation using data flow graph we are going to use python programming language for this mlp if you don't if you have basic understanding of python then it's good otherwise you must first learn some of the basic understanding of python and the machine learning so now we are going to make a multi layer perceptron first of all what is multi layer perceptron so it's a feed for forward artificial neural network model that maps set of input data to a set of appropriate output mlp consists of multi layer of nodes in a directed graph with each layer fully connected to the next layer so now we are going to import our live libraries tensorflow s tf import numpy s n p now the data equals to n p array we are going to create a zor gate Zero zero one zero. Oh, it should be one zero. It should be zero zero one. Now it should be one zero. Now one one. Y data should be equal to n p array zero comma one one and zero. Now the hyperparameter the number of input node going to be two the number of hidden layer are going to be ten the number of output layer are going to be one now it's going to be three layer neural network and we have going to have only one hidden layer the first layer is the input layer it only have two nodes the second layer is hidden layer and it going to have 10 nodes and the third layer is the output layer having only one node and it's going to have a set of weight that is w1 and w2 and a set of bias and we are going to use the set of weight between these to connect the two layer of uh, neurons we are going to use the set of weights and biases so the weight uh, w1 is to connect the and uh, in the input layer to the hidden layer and the weight uh, W2 is going to be used to connect the hidden layer to the output layer. So these weight connect them. Now we are going to create some placeholder. So placeholder is basically a variable to which we are going to assign value later. Float 32. Y is equal to TF dot placeholder float 32 now the set of weights w1 is equals to tf dot variable tf dot random uniform now n input and then n hidden from minus 1 to 1 now like this we are going to create the second set of weight variable tf dot random uniform and hidden and output this is also from minus 1 to 1 now we are going to create the bias b1 should be equal to oh in the next line b1 should be equal to tf dot variable tf dot zeros and hidden comma name should be equal to bias1 b2 is equals to tf dot variable 
tf dot zeros and output the name is equals to bias2 now we are going to do some cal cal calculation with this input and the set of weight and bias the layer 2 going to be tf dot sigmoid then matrix multiplication between the x that is input and the weight 1 and adding bias 1 to them like this we are going to create the next layer that is hypothesis layer the tf dot sigmoid tf dot matrix multiplication layer 2 with weight 2 plus second set of bias now the calculating the cost reduce mean minus y into tf dot log hypothesis minus 1 minus y into tf dot log 1 minus hy that is hypothesis now we are going to create the optimizer function optimizer going to tf dot train we are going to use the gradient descent gradient descent optimizer learning rate dot minimize the cost so this function is going to minimize the cost and improving our output now initializing all the variables initialize all variables now we are going to start our tensorflow session s session session dot run s init now we are going to create a loop for step in x range the number of training step now we are going to run the optimizer function session dot run optimizer feeding the data to the optimizer function the set of input and the la labels x data comma y and the y data now after every thousand step if step percentile thousand is equals to zero display the cost session dot run cost and also providing in data same as the feed above x x data y y data now calculate the answer answer should be equal to tf dot equal floor hypothesis plus 0.5 comma y then the accuracy should be equal to tf dot reduce mean tf dot cast answer as float now we are going to test it on our the test data session dot run hypothesis feed dict so the same data x as x data and y as y data now i'm going to print the accuracy of the result see dot eval x x data y y data so now our code is complete in 50 lines of code 
now let's run this in the terminal providing permission now running it and see if there's any error the learning rate is not defined okay so we haven't defined two things here first learning rate is going to be 0 0.1 and the epoch epoch is going to be let's say 10,000 now let's run it again so you can see we have two warnings let's just now ignore them and you can see our cost is improving after every 10 th after every thousand iteration and at the end we can see an accuracy of 0.1 I just need to change it and multiply it to 100 so that we can get proper answer percentage now it will seem to be correct again you can see the cost is improving if you just increase the number of iteration the cost will increase decrease automatically and the answer accuracy will increase now you can see accuracy is 100% and the answer is roughly correct if we just round off each value then we can see it is considered as 0 and it is 98 so it can be say if we just increase number of iteration then it will become 99 and we can just say it's 1 and it is also 1 and it is 0 so you can see we have got the correct uh, result as 0 1 1 0 so that's all about the multi-layer perceptron in tensorflow if you like this video then hit the like button and share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed yet then please subscribe now and hit the bell icon also to get the latest videos thank you and have a nice day